Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 19 here on Midwest Horizons. Folks, how y'all doing today? Y'all doing all right? We are belling in our last grass, ba I mean grass field. Almost not make no sense. But yes, I am making my hood open up here. And is it going to show me? I'm on a mower. I gotta be on the baler. Uh, twenty thousand liter bales is what we're making. Ooh, almost to the end. As you can see, this is what we got left. Uh, I've been working on some trees also over. I can't use the mower out in the bean field here. Whoa! Oh! 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 Turn the baler back on. And shut the mower off. Whew. When the mower is on, it takes the fertilizations away from the field there. So that's what I was worried about. But how y'all doing? Y'all doing okay? I am doing this green. I'm doing green. <laughs> Mr. Blue needs to be Mr. Green. We're watching this bale fixing a drop. It's pushing on out. Gonna be making me some money. Sweet money. I just can't get enough of the money. But anyway, folks. <laughs> yeah, I hope y'all doing alright. I'm in a pretty good mood. Um, you're gonna see why here in a minute. Uh, even in real life, I'm in a pretty good mood. It's Sunday, uh, October the 20th. When I'm recording this. Y'all should see this on the 21st of October. If nothing goes wrong. But yeah. We're popping the bells out. He's wrapping them. And uh, we're going to haul them off. As soon as we get done this field. So I will be back. As soon as I get done. i go around this little water. Main deal here. It's, it's a drain tile what it is. I just hope it stays working. Alright. Shut the mower off. And keep the baler run. Whoa, guys, slow down. Slow down, mister. We're not in that big of a hurry. All right, here we go. Be back in a minute. Well, a second for y'all. All right, we are done. The last field. <sighs> we got some spots that's not ready, which is right up here, but they don't mount to nothing. So, I guess we're going to park this up. I'm going to show you all the strip right up here. And then we'll gonna pick up the last bales. And then we'll sell them. And we might... I'm thinking about since we're going down there. Just hook up the animal trailer. And go ahead and buy a little bit more sheep. But I don't know. We need to actually save our money right now. And... Because we still got to buy a combine. Or two. Or three. Um, I thought about leasing them this year. That way I wouldn't have to pay the full amount for them. So I really don't know how I'm going to do the combines yet. But this strip I'm on right here. It wouldn't cut because it's still showing green. And it's still growing quite a bit. So... We didn't cut this, but it'll be ready next time when the rest of the fields get ready. Uh, come fall, after the harvest, we might switch some of these fields up. And just have uh, the grass fields close together, like all in one. Let's see, I'm going to take this to the main farm. And uh, when I get this situated, I will show y'all the uh, travel, well, some of the traveling stuff. I'll just be back in a second. How's that? All right. I'm back over here. This is what we got right here on the flatbed. Our gooseneck is looking kind of terrible. So I'm thinking about just loading it onto that. And, but then again... And then, uh, you know, we got these two trailers full. 
and that was this is all oh let me show you real quick all right it's gonna be this field this field and uh was that it no it's the purple right here and here and here all this right here in the purple that i got the mouse arrow over is what we mowed and turn into a sillage. Take a look at our sheets while we're here. I need to check on their water, see what's up with that. And so far, we don't have no fertilized missions at all. Is this correlating? And that's not really, really good right now. You know, the price is kind of low. I think I figured out what turns my fire speed up also dropped our hay right here for the sheeps for the time being I just I had to I needed that trailer didn't feel like making another load but you look up our top left it says player speed 4x now if I go hit the I got my pause button for my recording set to the end button on the keyboard there and I'm, I'm fixing the end or not in the video but I'm going to hit N to pause it again and see if it takes it away. All right. Yeah, that's what's doing it. So that's just a regular walk right there. So the end button is changing my player speed every time I hit the pause button while I'm outside of a vehicle or if, if I'm just like this, it'll do it. If I'm in a menu or in a vehicle, it won't do it. So... Our sheeps are looking good. Let's see if our... Ooh, 241 wedge payment. This motor is... Okay. This motor is still running. So, it looks like our water supply tank here is complete. It was combs and stuff here. But it comes out of this tank here and comes back up... A I don't know why it goes underground instead of not going here, but anyway, as you can see, it says start filling, and it shows the water level. And I didn't get down here in time for it to show that, but hopefully this will, I'm going to leave this little pump here, just in case, and hopefully, let's go in here again. To, the, to our sheeps. Uh, water level is full. With this little pump going, this shouldn't get low again, hopefully. But, uh, yeah. They're looking fine, so. Fine as wine. And as far as I know, they're eating the grass out in the pasture, because I haven't gave them any food at all. But this is what our supply looking like on wool so far. I wish. Because every single one of these got a little bit in it. Instead of just being one. And they're not like chickens. You, you can't take their pallet and stack it on top. And it drains down to the bottom one. So I'm kind of messed up there. One thing I know to do is remove a few of them that don't. But see this, this in here has got seven point something that one's got 38 but anyway we gotta we gotta take a trip we gotta take a little trip so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do it all screen here that gooseneck trailer is looking bad i'm gonna load what i can on the semi trailer and hopefully we can get all of them on the semi trailer but if not we might have to use this anyway, so I'll be right back after I unload these, okay? All right, let's see uh, how this goes. Wait a minute, is that the 4960? I, I bet it's the 4960. That's the 4960. How dare me? How dare me? Okay, I'm going to have to uh, get in a tractor. No, I don't. No, I don't. I know what I'm going to do. <laughs> Be right back in a second. All right, maybe now I won't have no problem. 
I started to take off again with a course play back in here and all the bells just fell off as he's going so I unloaded on the trailer picked up the couple of others I had and uh, strapped them down we we're going to try this and we're going to the animal dealer because that's uh, M and W or something like that is uh, well, anyway right here M, M and H cattle and feed that's the name of it that's right beside the animal dealer so which is right here so we we are up here we gotta go all the way down all the way across and there's a road that goes right here and it goes into there and that's kind of tight in there too so ah uh, yes but I'm thinking about buying this well get it here in a second this field and that field because it's grass and um, maybe extend our stuff a little bit um, but, oh yeah I need to get back to here I need to increase speed just a little bit because these prices are going up I gotta keep track on that so let's increase our time to like maybe 15 and then I'll slow it down we'll get there I guess I can up his speed I got his speed to match the tractor speed so that way the follow me will work on the 4960 because 4960 the course play does not work for some reason and that aggravates me because that's a good tractor to have around the farm and stuff so maybe I can go I think I'm gonna go 18 and a half and that, that should work because 49.60 goes 19 mile an hour and uh, here's a view of our field ain't nothing popping up yet we do have a few weeds two spots where I can't spray for some reason but I'm just going to give it a little bit more time and if anybody got any idea about cutting on this map it's got it here here's the cotton when you start seasons it is withers now I know cotton if you don't have seasons cotton is on this map you can form form it but with seasons for some reason wrong one let me get started here uh, yeah this one right here now okay okay I, I see how you are folks go back and watch my other episode when I open this up if, if y'all want to or if y'all behind a few videos watching or something cotton wasn't on this at all now I did install the 1.5.1 uh, MS 19, you know, you know, the farming simulator came out with an update. You know, the main giants they came up with. There, I get it out. Giants came up with the 1.5.1 patch. Well, I haven't played Midwest since that patch update, so I guess they include where I could do cotton. So I was about right. The cotton we planted. Um, I don't have my sheet here, but I planted it this day or, or on the 5th, one or the other. And I was planning on planting it on the ninth, and then somewhere wrong in here. So I was right. We can plant cotton now. What? Oh, that's okay. Wish it would highlight this area, but yeah. we There's cotton right here. So the 7th be late spring and we got to midsummer to plant and harvest in the fall okay I, I'm glad now because I do want to show off the cotton pickers oh I want to show off the cotton pickers they're right here well cotton picker I do have the uh, 
Hey, yeah, I forgot about the warrior truck. Because it's not like the uh, the other ones. I'll get in this later since we can do cotton. But the other one, you pull with a trailer and it would come out to here. And the fifth wheel be right in there. It just had a big old emptiness right here and nothing. But well, this mod, it's a real, real life module truck. Or at least the ones i seen. That's around here, you know. This is what it looks like around this area. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Ooh, I, I got it. But anyway, there's our cotton picker that we're going to be using. Since we can do cotton now. That's a round bell cotton picker. A lot of people say this is slower. But I don't see it. I think it was Mr. Silly P done one you know this one here is 15 mile an hour 6 mile an hour out in the field okay 6 meters this is 6 meters 15 mile an hour they're both 15 and both are 6 but this one has to stop to unload the bale this one don't stop he keeps going this one unfolds faster doesn't don't it takes its time unfolding so it's faster unfolding but this in here don't stop at all because it shoots the bell out the back while it's while it's rolling you know while it's picking and it holds that bell till you get to the end or whatever it decides to make another bell it drops it if you got a hired worker oh folks i am so happy i am so happy Whew. All right, where did our guy go? Where they at on the map? All right, they're almost there. So I'm going to bring you back here in just a second when they they die, go way up there. Just a little bit further. So I'm bringing you back then. We're going to sell these bales and uh, be in the episode. Okay, so I'll be back in a second. All right. Well, I brought you back, and you see, three twenty-three vehicle running costs one or fourteen fifty-four property maintenance. Property income is what one thousand seven hundred seventy-three. I am. Ooh, or or got a little time down. Got a little time down. Eight minutes after midnight, our price finally came to a stop. But look at our wool price; it's going up. And also, we got a great demand for eggs. So, uh, tomorrow's going to be pretty awesome, hopefully. But my problem I'm having, you see how tight this place is. It is very, very tight. Uh, thought about coming down here and just uh, clear some of these bushes out. Not too bad. Take out couple of trees right across here it'd be pretty good but one thing about it we can unload bales and wait whoa oh it's on the tongue oops um, we can slide these puppies over and unload here $18,709 sold bales uh, uh, transporting position. That's not bad, folks. That was 24 bales. We got lots more than that. Lots more. So let me get this trailer over it. All right, I decided to go through the woods. You can see my tracks right there. I went around a few trees and come back in this way. So maybe I'll make it a little bit better. And then the semi is going to be kind of rough. All right, we're going to, uh, oh, nope, 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 we're going to go the other way. All right, unload. Oh, Lordy. All right, let's see. I'll do that. No, okay. Get this out of the way. I'm going to push those in by hand, looks like.
see if I can get this hooked up without jackknifing it too much. Whoa. This thing needs brighter lights on it for me. Oh, oh man, I was right there at it. There we go. Alright, now for the semi. Alright, this is going to be a little tricky. I had to put the 4960 over there and shine the lights because I could not see backing at all. So I just hope we get some of these sold right off the back. I probably have to auto load a couple times. I think I'm way out of trigger. I'm over too far. No, no. Okay. All right, I got to get over it. Strap those back down for a second. Let's see how far I can get the trailer up in there. All right. Hmm. They're going to get some of these by hand, probably. Tell you what. Give me a second. Give me a second. I'm going to rearrange. All right. I... Hopefully get on the right side. Oh, I unloaded the wrong way. Oh, I had it at the back. Why did I do that? Gotta get straight up so I can back up this right. Can't see nothing back here. It's so dark. All right, that should have... Oh, hit a tree. I think I hit a tree. Get my flashlight on, get out of these bushes. Make sure I picked up everything. Yeah, I did hit a tree. And oh, did I oh did I do that to the tree? Look, no damage to the truck. Alright, I'm pick you up and there you go. Go down this side. It auto load those on, that was on the ground too, so alright. I'll do this again and hit. U, B, 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 and it should put it on the right side of me there. Yeah, I can see the lines now. Okay, probably have to do this a couple times. Y to unload, then U again, then U, then B, 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 then Y. Okay, I got one bell. Not too bad. Oh, yeah, out of the ground. I don't want you going under the map. Oh, come on now. There we go. There we go. That's all of them. That's all of them. Let's see if we can uh, see how many we sold. All right. Sold bells. 37,420. Hmm. I, I thought it would be more than that. I really did. Consuming. But oh well. It's income. It is income. So. We're doing pretty good though. <sighs> so yeah. I was hoping that would get up there a whole lot more. So get my uncle. Paid back. But he did say after harvest. So. After harvest, it might be. We gotta buy some combines anyway. But folks, I gotta get the 4960 hooked back up to the trailers and boogie my butt home so I can go to bed. Um, so good day, good night, good even, whatever it is to y'all. And uh, I hope y'all enjoyed it. I really love y'all's comments and like y'all hitting that like and stuff. It really helps me out a lot, folks. I don't know why I didn't shut that off. I run my batteries down. So, um, yeah. I'm trying to put together a Q&A. Uh, I don't know if y'all seen the other videos or not. So, if you have any questions for me, just put them down in the comments below. And, uh, yeah. Whatever y'all want to do, you can do it. Comment, no comment, like, dislike. It don't matter, folks. Only thing that matters is I love y'all 
and appreciate y'all. And y'all have a great day, a blessed day. And I will see y'all in the next episode. That'll be morning time, hopefully. All right. Later, folks. <laughs>